Hey guys, Fellow Meacham here, and I'm finally back with a few more thoughts on the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. In my last video, I gave you a bit of an overview and preview about the S5 Mark II and my initial impressions, but Panasonic were kind enough to send me the S5 Mark II to test out for the next two months. And I wanted to share some additional thoughts on this impressive camera now that I finally have it in my hands. I also want to point out as well that this video has not been sponsored by Panasonic in any way, shape or form. Basically, Panasonic saw my previous video about the S5 Mark II and decided to send me a review copy just to test out and experiment for the next two months. So with that, let's go. Now, I am traditionally a Sony shooter and have been for quite a few years now. So jumping from the Sony systems and menu settings over to the Lumix was a little daunting in the first day of viewing everything. But that being said, the menu system on the Lumix is pretty straightforward and intuitive, which is good when you're new to the Lumix systems. And the physical buttons on this camera are well designed, giving you easy access to all the important controls which you need on a camera, such as the ISO, shutter speed, aperture, etc., as well as some customizable buttons as well. However, I have knocked this button a few times accidentally, but there is a way to lock this for when you are recording. Another standout feature on the S5 Mark II is the image stabilization. The strong active eye system on this camera works really well, helping to keep the footage steady and smooth even when moving around. This is incredibly helpful when you are shooting commercials or even vlogging and you need to have that steady smooth shot. And the autofocus system on the S5 Mark II is really where Panasonic have up to their game and upgraded this camera to the next level. Previous version of this camera, the S5 Mark I, was dubbed as the perfect hybrid camera bar the awful autofocus system. But the camera now features a phase hybrid autofocus system, which is not as good as Sony and Canon and the other uh, camera companies out there, but they've made a massive leap to start competing with those companies again. And when you are shooting video, the human and animal autofocus modes can help to detect the face, eyes, and the entire body of the human or animal. And from my experience so far, it seems to work pretty flawlessly in keeping that subject in focus and identifying what is a face, what is an eye, and what is an actual human body. And the one thing that caught my attention on this camera more than anything else was the 6K open gate sensor. For myself, I started off as a photographer and moved into more of a content creator with the need to shoot both photos and videos. And when it came to the video side, I needed to shoot both vertical and horizontal. And the 6K open gate sensor was for me a big problem solver and solution for shooting on set. A lot of the times the client wanted certain deliverables and they wanted to have certain shots in both the horizontal and vertical. And the 6K open gate sensor is the solution for that. It allows me to shoot one thing once and in post be able to deliver everything that I need for the client. Whereas my previous cameras, I had to shoot the same thing twice, one vertical and one horizontal to be able to have those deliverables for the client. This sensor also does deliver on quite incredible detail in regards to shooting with a high bit rate as it does shoot 10 bit 420, which has a strong color depth, giving you plenty of latitude for the post-production. And as I mentioned before, this camera is a hybrid beast. It's not only just good for the video, it's also good for the photo side of things too. This camera does shoot 24 megapixel images, which is quite standard when it comes to photography these days. That being said, the images do look really good from the testing that I've done so far, but more testing would need to be done to, to really confirm how good the photography side is. In addition to that sensor, the S5 Mark II also has quite a, an impressive range of video settings, albeit a little restricted with the codex for this base model. But the S5 Mark II X version, which is coming out later this year, should have some more professional options available. As I said, this camera can shoot the 6K open gate sensor, which is really good for the content creation, albeit a little bit cropped, and 1080p at up to 100p for that slow motion footage. And with the unlimited retort card time, you can shoot for as long as you need without worrying about the cutoff point. So what are my thoughts on the Lumix S5 Mark II now I've finally got my hands on it? I think Panasonic have done what they've always done, which is empower the little guy, the, the small content creator, the small production companies, the, guy, the little guys that don't have the big books but want to create and deliver on that high quality at a cheaper cost. 
So I think the S5 Mark II is the perfect hybrid camera for a hybrid content creator. Someone who does want to shoot and someone who does want to take photos as well. Use one camera and deliver everything that is needed and required. Honestly, for the price, I can't really say anything that bad about the S5 Mark II. Now that it has a decent, although not perfect, autofocus system, strong visuals on both the video and the photography side, and a strong dynamic range. So in conclusion, I guess what I'm trying to say here is that the S5 Mark II is a top tier camera at a very low price that does offer incredible image and video qualities, impressive features and ease of use when it comes to the menu system and the physical buttons on the camera. So this will be the new primary camera for me in regards to all the YouTube videos that I do and all the content creation that I do and all the client work that I do for the next two months. And after using this camera on a few more shoes, I will hopefully be able to do a bit of a more of an in-depth long-term review use on this camera. So if you are interested in seeing that kind of video, then drop a comment down below and leave a like because that will allow me to see who will be interested in that kind of video. But yeah, from a, I guess from a Sony user, I'm quite excited to be exploring and using a new system and the Lumix system in the coming months. So as always, I love your face and I'll see you next time.